In this video, I'm going to be going over a really low-tech way of fragging a 18th Astrea Lord Hoensis. A lot of people will say that you have to have a bandsaw, otherwise you're not really going to be able to do anything with it. And that's kind of incorrect. There's a trick to it. The trick is to use a very flat surface, like this frag plug, to um, grow the frag onto. Because what we're going to frag is actually that little bit that you see on the lip there before any real growth has taken place. Um, what you actually want to do is frag it a little before this, because this one, the polyps here up on the side have gotten a little bigger, whereas over here in the corner you can see they're thinner. So I should have fragged this about two weeks ago. I'm going to use my patented coral shears, which are actually from the manicure section at Target. I think they cost me about $8, so always a good investment to make with these uh, coral shears for fragging. So basically, we're just going to be fearless. Um, I'm going to take this little section right here and frag it off, see what happens. And there we go. We got one polyp off the bottom there, and a half a polyp off the side. You're just going to have to tear it off. It's the only way to do it, unfortunately. And don't be afraid to smash polyps in half, because we're going to go over how to get it to survive after that. So again, just one clip. You can see this frag. That's quite a few polyps on there. I'm not going to do any more because you actually shouldn't cut these too much. They get a little more prone to infection. Um, that's, that's just personal preference. I've seen them crap out after a couple of days. If you just end up cutting the colony from too many sides, it just has too much healing left to do. Next, we're going to take a paper towel and dry off the frags because this has a lot to do with how well they're going to glue down. And the quicker and better you can glue them down, the easier it's going to be for them to heal up and be able to be sellable as quickly as possible. I know these look like they tore a lot of flesh off, but I'm going to post some updated pictures with a link and you'll be able to see how they healed up. So for this gluing them down, I'm going to use the uh, Boston Aqua Farms Reef Glue Accelerator. I'm a big fan of this one. You only have to use a tiny dab of super glue. You probably hear me talk it up on all my videos. I, I'm a fan. It's the quickest way to glue something down with the least amount of glue. One of these tubes usually lasts me about 50 to 80 frags, which is, you're never going to get anywhere near that without it. So we're going to put just a drop on each one, and this thing has a hole in it, so I put a lot more than that. Realistically, you want a drop on each one. I'm going to blow on it, dry it off a little bit. And now in the center, we're going to put just a little dab of super glue there. Not much, just enough to get it the glue down because you don't want to get the super glue on the flesh of the polyps or it, it can make them slime up or get an infection or basically all the things that you want to avoid having your new frags go through. And the reason I use the bigger frag plugs is because it'll look better when they're grown out. And I don't know which one of these I'm going to end up using as a mother colony. I might sell this frag and then keep these. Because the thinner it is, the easier it's going to be for me to frag later. So this frag, really thick, probably a bad candidate for fragging later. So I'll probably end up selling this one after I frag that side off. And then keeping these two, growing one as a mother colony, and selling the other one when it gets bigger. So hopefully you've liked this really low-tech way of fragging corals. I it avoids having to spend $400 on a bandsaw and having it take up a lot of space, which is the issue I'm having now. I had one. I had to sell it because it's just way too much space it takes up sometimes. All right. I hope this helps. As I was putting the frags back into the tank just now, I realized I forgot to tell the most important piece of advice for these, and that is to make sure the frags are not getting too much light and that they're getting a good amount of flow. You want them to have a decent bit of water movement because any amount of slime can turn into bacteria. So make sure, for me, I put them at the front of the tank at the bottom, near a little overhang, so that they're getting shade and a decent amount of flow to keep it moving because these first two to three days are the critical healing times for those. So I hope this helps.